What is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. So, a few weeks ago, I made a video where I was starting to spend some of my coupons and I actually got a comment about how my power seemed pretty low for how long I've played, because I've played for like, what, three, almost four years? Yeah, almost four years now, I think, on the server. Granted, there was like a break in between, but they were talking about how I was a bad player because my power was low for the amount of time that I played. So I thought about it a little bit and I'm like, you know, he's kind of right. My power is kind of low. Why exactly is that? But then looking at it closer, I kind of realized that my power is low, but what's not like shown is how I can defeat a lot of people that are much higher power. So I thought I'd make a little video about this, as well as just clear up a couple things about power. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Tai and Ninjutsu Penetration. So this is a stat that's over here, and we're, I'm just going to straight up say it, this stat is useless, but it gives a ton of power. And so the reason why that you can actually be lower power but defeat higher power enemies is just by not having as much Tai and Din Penetration, because you're going to have the same stats for the other things and since this stat doesn't actually affect your like combat abilities you're going to be having a lower power compared to someone who maybe put like a bunch of stats into tie in penetration so this stat does absolutely nothing but increase your power well it might increase it very slightly like one percent if you have like an extra thousand but it's basically negligible so some things that you can like do to avoid getting Titan into to penetration, by the way, is through the group skills. So you can upgrade the group skills. I haven't actually maxed it out. But I did like do some of them. You can see that I've left these at 45. Um, so that is one way that you can get Titan into to resistance. Or to be more specific, you can avoid getting tight and ninjutsu penetration. Along with that, you also have like eight inner gates, so you can technically gets the ones that give yeah like this gives high penetration you by not putting them on here you're reducing the amount that you get uh, another big one is ninja tools which also we're going to get to ninja tools later because we're going to talk about resistances but you can see that i essentially don't have any Thai penetration Thai ninja too i still have some but these are the ones that i'm working on slowly removing them and so Removing them is going to drop your power, but in terms of your combat ability, it's not going to affect it at all there. Another interesting thing that I don't think a lot of people know is just how power scaling works. Um, so it's not as most people think, like you get 50 attack and maybe you get like 100 extra power and it stays that way through the entire game. The amount of power you gain from stats actually increases as you kind of play the game longer. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but it's kind of based on your secondary stats here. So a good example of this would be if I'm like 400k and I'm going up against a 800k player, they don't necessarily have two times the stats of me, they just might have like 1.5 times the stats of me. And so I can kind of show this off by going over here and just take for example Madara. If we go and take off our attack, level 8 attack right here, you can see we're going to lose like 1,975, but let's reduce his secondary stats here. So it doesn't really matter which one we take off, any of them is going to affect it. So let's just take off some initiative here. So this initiative is going to drop our power. So yeah, it dropped our power by like 3,000, that's fine. But now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take off this same attack Magatama. And you're going to see that our power dropped only 1,933 compared to what it was earlier, 1,975. And so what this essentially means is as you get more secondary stats, it's going to influence how much power you get from the primary stats, which is kind of interesting. And I don't actually know the exact mechanics behind it, but this is one way that power kind of inflates itself. So just because you have more power doesn't mean necessarily like you're that much stronger than someone else. Now that we got those out of the way, let's kind of talk about why exactly my power had been so low for playing so long. So first of all, half the reason was because I had saved up like 35k at that point, I think it was. And that's equivalent to like half a year of playing. So I basically didn't spend like half a year's worth of coupons, which was why my power is kind of low. But the main biggest reason that I believe 
that they kind of assumed I was bad because of my power being low is because I position one stack and I haven't actually made an entire video on this. I'll probably go more in depth in this later on. But you can see that my position one is basically almost double the power of everyone else. It's not quite double, it's like 14k, it's like 1.8 times. But you can see that it is massively greater than everyone else. And this is because I just focus on putting all my like charms, refinements, and runestones on this one position. And compare that to if you spread it out to everyone else. If you spread it across everyone else, you're going to get more power, but it's going to make your team less effective. And that's just kind of how Naruto Online works, because with position one stacking, you're going to have like one single person that you're helping boost up. And because he's boosted up all of like your buffs, like for example, Chikamaru's buff where he increases 100% to defense and resistance, they're going to just make him that much stronger. And essentially with this single position, you kind of just use him as a carry to destroy everyone else since you can match their power. It's a little bit complex and I'll have to do a whole separate video on that. But that is one of the biggest reasons that I think that my power is low, yet I can still like compete with higher power players. Last but not least, we need to talk about elemental resistance. Elemental resistance plays a huge part, especially at higher level play. Um, well, it kind of does depend on the team that you're facing here. But for example, if we take a look at, I don't know, Madara's standard attack, it causes fire damage. You can see that Madara's fire resistance here is 30%, which means you're cutting the damage that you receive by 30% off like Madara's standard attack. And I essentially have positive, almost all have positive uh, resistances. Normally, people have negative. They start with negative to their respective like weakness, so like lightning's weakness is win. Normally they start at negative 20%. And so I have essentially fixed all my positions to have at least 0% to positive. Like, Madara is supposed to be weak to water, it's at 6%. Which means that Kisame, he's not going to get that 20% extra damage, he's actually going to get a 6% reduced damage. Which is going to make a huge impact, especially when you're uh, like fighting against higher level players. To actually increase your resistances, by the way, ninja tools are the primary method as well as nature training. So for nature tools, you can get up to plus 2% per, what is it, per um, tool. So like in total, you'll get 20%. There is a s exception, which is the extremely old tools. There, Those tools can have up to plus 4%, which allows you to get up to 40% resistance for all elements from your ninja tools. But I don't have those because I wasn't around at that time. But 40% resistance is insane, especially if you combine that with like 5 nature or training chakra here. Because this is going to give even more percentages of resistance. So, I mean, if you had like 40% plus that, you could get like 50% reduction. Which is like halving the damage of that element. Which is going to be an insane game changer when you're actually in battle. Of course, though, this only applies if they have an elemental attack. But for the most part, I think most ninjas, I'm giving some bad examples here because Naruto 6 Pass doesn't have any, but a fair amount of them do, especially like the blitzy ones like Kisame, Edo Hiruzen. I'm not sure about Kimimaru. I don't think Kimimaru has it. But the point being is that by increasing your elemental resistance, you can massively increase your survivability. And so it's a really important step, but it doesn't necessarily give a lot of power, so it doesn't show up in your power. And that is the final reason that my power is kind of low. That all being said, guys, I still don't understand like the entire power and how it works and everything. There are probably a lot of other methods that I have not included in this video, and if I find out about them and learn about them, I'll, or remember them, I guess, I'll include them in a future video. Besides things that influence power directly, there is one last factor that is extremely important, and that is unit composition. Which is basically who your ninjas are, what you're using, how good your actual like team is overall. 
And then there's also going to be like counters. So some certain teams are just going to have a counter. It's not necessarily your fault. You're going to try to uh, want to reduce the counters to your team. But they're still going to exist and they'll be able to beat you if you two were at the same power essentially. And so counter teams will allow you to kind of skip the skip power and be able to beat people with higher power than you. But they're a little bit like niche so you have to either design them specifically to counter a team or some teams are just like pretty difficult to counter and of course with enough power you can always defeat people who counter you for example my team by the way my team is pretty good but it is very reliant on one thing which is shikamaru's buff hero to 100 percent defense and resistance which buffs the entire team makes it super tanky but the one weakness of this team is if you use someone who strips all buffs, for example, Akatsuki or Kakazu Akatsuki creation, and you remove that buff, it's going to make my team a lot more vulnerable compared to like some other team who doesn't rely on buffs. That being said, though, this team also counters other opponents, like for example, Akisame and Kakazu teams, because those teams are pretty reliant on chakra. And if you're fast enough, Madara's mystery here is going to absorb all their chakra, which is going to render their chakra scaling useless. So take what you will from this video. I think it's a pretty good like base starting point, especially position 1 stacking. I'll have eventually a whole separate video about that. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.